right now the moms are inside. We just got news, right, uh, a few hours ago. So they're collecting their thoughts. And I just will speak briefly while they're collecting themselves that one of the mothers just lost her partner. In the news, we're hearing a lot about how um, unworthy they are of housing because they have children and they didn't make plans to take care of their children. And I really want to highlight how this particular situation has called into um, question and into the forefront how people are not valued. And it doesn't matter what choices you make in life. I've heard a lot through this conversation that they should work harder. They work two or three jobs, that they shouldn't have children. Some of them lost their partners through car accidents or just or bad health because they didn't have access to health care. So this, we want people to understand that this could be anyone. This could be you, this could be your loved one that needs housing, which is why we are screaming to the top of our lungs that housing is a right that everyone should have access to. That means whether you have an addiction issue, because I guarantee you the wealthy people that are buying up these issues, buying up these neighborhoods, have some addiction issues. That's right, yeah. they're addicted right. to money. Right. Let's talk about it. I guarantee that the people who are buying up these homes who can afford million dollar homes in formerly working class neighborhoods also have mental health issues, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Just because you have an addiction or substance abuse issue or you may have challenges with mental health does not mean you do not have a right to housing. That's yes, right. that's right. What we're seeing right now is the people who have a right to housing are the people who can pay the most for it. That has got to end. We have got to take speculation out of our housing conversation, right? It cannot be who has a million dollars. These homes that are for sale across the street are for close to $1.5 million. How They're saying, and it affects everyone, right? That the people who can save up enough for a down payment on homes have to compete with corporations like Wedgwood, who have hundreds of shell organizations and limited liability corporations that buy houses in bulk. So what that does for the average individual or family who wants to save up and buy a house when you go, you're, you, there's no way to compete. All right. So we're not dealing with individuals who are buying up homes. We're dealing with corporations. And newsflash, corporations are not people. No. No. So when they say you came and took a house that belongs to someone, no, it did before it was foreclosed on. That's right. This system is rigged for the wealthy.